You're listening to the Weekend Sport Podcast with Jason Pine from Newstalk ZB. The FIFA Women's World Cup is fast approaching. It seems to have taken an age to get here, but the days are now getting uh, fewer and fewer until Thursday night when the football ferns take on Norway in the opening match of this year's tournament. It's uh, set to be an absolute cracker at Eden Park on Thursday. Let's get inside the Football Ferns camp and bring in attacker India Page Riley. Uh, Indy, thanks for uh, taking the time for a chat this afternoon. Four days to go. Uh, four, five, yeah. How real is the World Cup starting to feel for you and the team now? Yeah, it's insane. It's come around so quick. I think just yesterday I was overseas watching Australia and New Zealand win the bid and to now I think it's Five days away is, yeah, crazy. How um, was the final warm-up game against Italy? It was played behind closed doors. How, how did that go? Yeah, so we went down 1-0, but I think it was a good opportunity against, a, obviously, a World Cup team and a European team, which we have two in our group. So good to test us, good to test ourselves and see where we're at Um ahead of very important matches. Just uh, looking back to the game against Vietnam on Monday night in Napier, uh, obviously we all had the chance to watch that one and it was a a confidence-boosting performance, I'm sure. How happy were the coaching staff and the players after the win on Monday night in Napier? Yeah, we were super happy. It had been a long run there without a win, so to get a win this close into the World Cup, it's really good. Um, And yeah, the team morale was high, but obviously we... We're our harshest critics, so we wanted to go out and do better. And, yeah, we have things to work on, and it was good to see what those areas are ahead of the World Cup. Did you enjoy yourself personally out there? It looked like you were having um, having fun in, uh, in Napier. Yeah, honestly, I had probably one of the best times of my life on the football field. I was having so much fun. And, yeah, just to be back amongst the girls again, yeah, I don't know. There was no better feeling. Do you feel like you've um, put your best foot forward to, you know, to – earn a start in the opening game against Norway on Thursday night? Um, I think I have done the best that I could and whoever you could chooses, I know that they'll go out there and give their heart and soul for their country, for their family and for themselves. So whether it's me, whether it's someone else, I know that, yeah, it'll be the best um, choice for the team. Your um, first four games for New Zealand last year were all starts, but uh, but your playing time wasn't quite so significant in 2023. So during that nine-week training camp leading up to the tournament, how, how keen were you to do everything you could to, to make the, the squad for this World Cup? Yeah, that was my main focus. I wanted every training to leave nothing out on the pitch. And I think that's something, looking back now, that I'm proud to say that I have done. Um, I don't think I could have been more consistent um, in those nine weeks. And, yeah, to be rewarded for the start against um, Vietnam and then against Italy as well, it's, yeah, um, rewarding to see that Yitka um, saw how hard I worked and, yeah, really wanted to improve. That's a decent chunk of time for the team to be together. I know that there were certain players who arrived a bit later than others, but across that nine weeks, can you tell us what the, the general structure of that of that training camp was? Yeah, I think it was just good to be um, around each other, whether, you know, um, you were just coming in or you'd been there from the start. It was good to kind of talk to each other and get on the same wavelength on the field and off the field. So I think, yeah, we really bonded and came together because it was a tough nine weeks so we really had to be there for one another. And how was it also knowing that there were only 23 spots at the end of it all and that there were players there, I mean all of you who were there wanted to be in that 23, how did you kind of leave your personal ambition off to one side and just you know focus on what was the best for this entire team as you head towards the World Cup? Yeah, I think just everyone giving the best that they got because if you're trying your best, it's going to make um, the people around you try even harder to try and earn that spot over you. So I think, yeah, just keeping the um, competitiveness high and, yeah, really pushing each other. Did you reckon when when it came down to it, did you did you feel confident you'd make the 23? Um, well, I guess you're never really confident until you hear those words. Um <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. I was just so stressed. I don't think I've ever been so stressed in my life. Everyone was like texting me and yeah, it was stressful because there was a lot of 
people who obviously had followed me and supported me for so long who cared so much about whether I got in as well. So, yeah, it was stressful. <laughs> and so, and how did you find out? Because as I understand it, you were able to, you know, you were able to choose how you found out. Was yours a face-to-face? Was it a WhatsApp message? How did you find out you were in? Um, I chose face-to-face. I thought that was the most professional way. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think um, I'm happy that I chose face-to-face because to see and hear such nice things being um, said about you and your journey, yeah, it was nice to hear. Can you tell us about the um, decision-making process around switching allegiance? I mean, we're delighted that you have, absolutely delighted that you have. But can you tell us about the decision-making process there? Yeah, so it definitely wasn't a decision that I made overnight. I think I was first contacted around when I was like 18 and I obviously didn't set the field until September last year when I was 20. So, yeah, there was a lot of conversations going backwards and forwards. But at the end of the day, I'm from New Zealand um, and my mum, my dad, my grandparents, they were all born in New Zealand. So, yeah, I think to represent myself, my family, um, yeah, that's what it came down to in the end. And can you tell us about your football journey? Because obviously you've played here, but you've also played played further afield. Yeah, so I started when I was under 12s in Australia and then it um, took me over to Denmark. Um, also, I grew up playing in the Brisbane Raw youth system. That led me to my A-League debut, um, then to overseas to Denmark and then back to Brisbane just recently. Um and yeah, Australia, New Zealand, um, playing in the Australian age groups under 17s and under 20s, and then yeah, to the football fans. Outstanding. And just watching you the other night um, against Vietnam, it's obvious you like um, you like getting on the ball and, and setting things up. How how cool was it to you know to set up a goal for for Jackie Hand? Because I know sometimes you know that you you don't get goals or you don't get assists, but to get that assist for for Jackie, how nice was that? Yeah, I think it was just the cherry on top to be honest for the last nine weeks that we've all gone through even more um yeah and to help contribute um to the win that's what I want to do I want to be exciting and play creative football and get on the ball and yeah just help the team to wins and to score goals and yeah that's my job and that's what I like to do so to assist Jackie was amazing and yet because encouraging of you playing that way that's what she wants from you yeah, I think um, we spoke a lot about where I'm best and I'm best when I'm able to be free and be creative and play what instinctively. And yeah, I think she's fine with that. I don't know. I haven't heard otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she's fine with it. I'm sure she's absolutely fine with it. And just to finish, have you, have you thought about what it might be like to walk out there on Thursday night, packed house, Eden Park, opening game, football World Cup, what that might be like? Yeah, just the only thing that comes to mind is a dream come true. You know, it's what you dream of when you're young and when you're playing, you know, in the backyard with your brothers and sisters, you're like, oh, the World Cup, (laughs) (laughs) Um, to to score the winner, you know, it's, yeah, I don't know, just a dream come true. Well, it's it's not that far away from coming true. Congratulations on getting to this point, uh, Indy, and we just can't wait to see how this all plays out over the next little while. Thanks for joining us for a chat. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks for joining us. India Page Riley out of the Football Ferns camp. So Thursday night they play their first game against Norway at Eden Park. For more from Weekend Sport with Jason Pine, listen live to News Talk ZB weekends from midday or follow the podcast on iHeartRadio.